Be my buddy, said the buddy stick to ICOM IC705 when they recently met in my backyard. And the 705 goes like, Okay, but I wear no ATU on me, so will you be resonant enough to suit my finals? Boy, it's a good question. Let's find out if these two guys can play together. Stay tuned. Hello guys, this is Linus, Lima Yankee 2 Hotel. The buddy stick. I have this antenna for four years now. And since during these years, it's been in many activations in the parks. It's been through many rooms in the hotels around Europe and especially uh, saw many balconies of the hotels. <laughs> so the buddy stick. It comprises of lower section, the coil, and the extending telescopic whip. So, the lower section overly makes a very good impression about the quality. In my case, it's made of two aluminum sections, both of them comprising 56 centimeters long two sections because I bought a version of the body stick which is so called designed for travelers need so yes, the lower section simply splits into two parts in order to be easier to pack up in, uh, in my suitcase the telescopic whip this is a long version which is optional this is 2 meters 84 centimeters long whip very good quality very sturdy one you know it's okay it, it, it doesn't doesn't bend mounted horizontally which is important uh, which is important also to have the uh, reinforcement sleeve onto the bottom of the of the whip uh, you, you can buy it you should buy it optionally uh, separately but it's a very good thing it uh, it protects your antenna from cracking in this place after you know being a couple of times or many times in the wind uh, especially if you mount it in the dipole configuration uh, two, two body sticks in the dipole configuration or just a body stick somewhere in the balcony like 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 this um, uh, at some 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 angle so th there is a strain here originally when you buy the kit you're getting this shorty whip uh, when extended it makes one meter 68 centimeters so it's basically almost twice as shorter than the long one and basically uh, it's it's uh, it's a good quality also it's sturdy enough it's lightweight which is good uh, but uh, from the as it comes to the efficiency point uh, it's really not efficient. Antenna with this whip is not really efficient. Uh, I was trying once uh, making activating a park with this and with this longer one. So no question, uh, the longer one was really bringing, giving better, rep better signal reports. But anyway, in uh, if you just you know want it to be very lightweight uh, to go somewhere for 15 minutes on the picnic table uh, it's okay you will you will certainly make a contact or two uh, when it comes to the coils overall it's a pretty good quality uh, the good plastic firm and sturdy uh, good quality of wire what is uh, problematic for me personally is these nice like looking like a candy pick off clips they call you connect uh, the lower section uh, with the, of the antenna with the with the coils with the coil by this smallish banana patch cord which comes into a pick off clips connector uh, I'm not sure it sits pretty sturdy to me sometimes I think it's too loose and I'm not sure about the quality of the contact it makes well makes but but you know I'd like it to sit more firmly into into this uh, connector but uh, this is not uh, the biggest problem with these the biggest problem with these is that anytime 
you want to find a tap a new tap to adjust to adjust the resonance you need to unscrew the pickoff clip it's not that easy to do because this clip is is uh, pretty small it's uh, not that easy to handle so but it, it 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 should clip onto the winding of the coil and then you have to screw on the bolt tightly uh, be very careful and uh, not to lose the nut in the grass otherwise it's gonna be a lot of trouble to find it again all right so I relocated the pickoff clip and onto the coil. It's really not convenient to do that. And I give you 99% that surely the time will come when you lose it, when you lose it somewhere in the deep grass and will never find again. So that's, um, that's a problem with this. It's difficult to tell the quality of the coil because there is so many different formulas and calculators on the internet one rule of thumb says that uh, the um, outer diameter compared to the length of the coil must be between one and four now, the length of this coil is nine centimeters the diameter of the coil is five centimeters so when you divide nine to five you get something 1.6 probably uh, you make it uh, so so it fits into this definition of the good coil before we go to the field to test it in the field uh, I followed the advice from the company uh, from the user manual uh, to pre-tune to find the right uh, the right places for pickoff clips on the onto the coil um, on each band so it's 40 30 20 and up without the coil after some testing, I decided that with the long whip is best of all to use just one lower section because it, uh, it makes the, the best combination with the coil and the long whip. This part of the body pole antenna is called Versity Center Part. It's designed for easy and quick and reliable fixing uh, of the of the body stick or one or two body sticks uh, onto the system uh, with the great versatility you can put the body stick here as, as a vertical you can put body stick here at any angle you wish using this called rotating arm if you connect the two body sticks one here under the other here you're gonna have a dipole one more body stick accessory is a table clamp or it could be balcony rail clamp fence clamp or car roof rack clamp it's supposed to be very versatile easily adjustable to any angle of of situation uh, but uh, in the reality uh, whatever tight you fix this bolt the uh, antenna is not really fixed very firmly under the weight of the antenna under the in the slightest wind it leans down leans down and falls finally oops that's no good that's no good so this accessory i wouldn't say it's uh, thought out very carefully Here I am in the field, not far away from the city, and this field is kind of a part of the park, not far away from town, maybe 15 kilometers. Uh, there's, a, there's a road going on just maybe uh, 100 meters away from here, uh, so it could be some noise, could be some QRM, but that's exactly what I want to uh, test today with the buddy stick and ICOM IC705. So first off, we need to put the buddy stick up onto the mast onto the and to mount it on uh, to the versity center part by body pole my mast is uh, kind of a made from scrap from my junk box made with a painter's pole which extends to three actually meters but i'm not going to do that today that's going to be the height 
and the um, tripod from the lights. First we need to do, we need to extend the antenna whip. It's a long 2 meters, 84 centimeters, nearly 3 meters we can see whip. Uh, putting uh, the whole set onto the tripod and in, in, uh, screwing it in into the Versa T is not really that easy. You see, uh, the antenna itself, the whip itself is pretty long one and it's uh, pretty, it uh, starts floating in the wind or, or just when you try to screw it in. So it's not very easy to find the right beginning of the thread. And when you find and um, antenna still shakes and floats a little bit in the, in the, in the wind uh, and you screw it in, inevitably you put additional stray onto the threads and believe me or not after some attempts maybe 10 or 15 attempts of, of doing this in your outdoors activations uh, you'll find uh, that your threat of, of the versity or, 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 or a threat of the um, lower section of the of the um, aluminum uh, tube is worn out so the only solution and walk around about this is to use a quick mount uh, set I don't have it now, but I have another video uh, where I talk about that and where I'm testing my other 5 meter coil loaded uh, antenna. There, there, there will be a link in the description. And as it is now, we just mount it as we can. So, antenna is mounted, switch to 40 meters. For the connection to the radio, I run some 4 meters of coaxer G58 and I'm connecting it to the body pole one to one RF choke. So the body pole one to one RF choke, it's rated 400 watts, is very useful in this configuration because in this setup, the body stick which goes vertical, coil-loaded body stick, it goes vertical in combination with the counterpoise which starts from here uh, and it runs up to a stick uh, sticked into the ground over there for, for some 10 meters it's not a really a ground plane system it's actually an L type of an antenna or in other words uh, uh, unusually shaped dipole so that's why it's important uh, if we consider it to being a dipole so that's why one counterpoise is enough it must be elevated and that's why uh, why it's important uh, to find the right tap on, onto the coil uh, changing the the, the pick of uh, the place of pick off clips and then uh, equally important to adjust the length of other shoulder of the dipole in this case uh, which which is which comprised of this counterpoise wire all right so my setup in my mini vans shack today so very very simple setup uh, uh, tablet uh, ipad uh, ic705 begali keypad and the battery which runs all all uh, all the needs which i need it's it's a homemade uh, I like it to my homemade um, uh, 12 volts, 12 amp hours lithium iron phosphate battery. Today I, I did not take with me my antenna analyzer uh, or my nano VNA because actually I don't need it uh, for antenna testing. ICOM IC705 has got a pretty nice feature of testing, uh, scanning the, um, the SWR across across the selected band and that's in the field situation it's uh, more than enough no need to connect and reconnect the cables from the transceiver to analyzer and vice versa everything is in one transceiver all you need to do just you go to menu uh, you select SWR and you see already my previous measurements you reset it and uh, you use the PTT and you push the PTT and it scans and indicates the SWR. All right, so the antenna set up, the counterpoise length is adjusted, 
and now let's see what we have what do we have in the SWR field okay we measure all right so let's measure again the SWR in the CW segment of the of the 80 of the 40 meter band okay so we see that I basically the whole CW segment is covered by a very good SWR uh, with just less than 1.5 around 1.5 or less so that's that's supposed to be uh, pretty pretty good pretty good no tuner today I'm actually gonna gonna call CQ uh, and call more CQ than than finding looking for the stations because I wanna get the uh, uh, reports from reverse beacon network uh, and then just see uh, what the signal who, who's receiving my signal uh, from the ballistic antenna and uh, what are the uh, what, what are the reports from the reverse beacon network so for that you need to call the cq and for that the ic705 got a very good um, uh, good uh, offer so you go to menu you go to here and here you have your memories already i have the memories pre uh, pre-configured pre-installed in, in, into the memories and um, so we just push a button and you call so let's uh, let's uh, let's ask first about who, who's on the frequency qrl question mark silence So on 40 meters CW, nothing much. Uh, nobody answered my CQs, uh, and uh, I, I was trying to call some park, uh, park to park stations, German stations, but they they, they were quite weak, and then he didn't answer me too. Uh, but uh, on the CSSB portion of the band, there's a lot of Russian stations. It means that uh, uh, the, the, there is some propagation. So the Russian station from somewhere in the middle of Russia, central central Russia, goes pretty good, very loud. But still, there is something on the bands, and the body stick does receive. All right, now we are on a 30 meter band. This is middle middle peak of clip on, on the coil. Uh, the counterpoise is shortened up to probably around six, six, uh, seven, six meters. Uh, and uh, let's check the SWR. What, what will we have? So, and we see. All right, we see pretty nice SWR, like uh, 1.6, 1.7 to 1.6. I think it's okay, it's, it's, it's totally acceptable. CQ, I checked the reverse beacon network, and so I what we can see, we can see that uh, I was received uh, even now already calling on 30 meters uh, by Russian, uh, Eastern European, uh, Czech, Slovenian, Austrian, uh, Czech, Ukrainian stations uh, with the with the signal reports around like. Uh, 3 dB, 2 dB, 7 dB, 12 dB. Uh, so um, it's not, not not really. I wouldn't say they were very bad reports. I would say pretty good reports. And uh, on uh, 40 meters, I was calling earlier. Uh, it was also um, uh, the same uh, Central European stations, uh, uh, but also to the north, Estonian station, Finnish station. Uh, a Russian station, a Czech uh, station, uh, been been receiving me, 
also with pretty good uh, with pretty good reports so it means that it's uh, it's a bit strange that uh, so many on uh, stations on rbn uh, on the reverse beacon network uh, received me pretty well but uh, nobody came to my calls and I, I i frankly didn't hear many stations on the band too on 40 and now on 30 it's not very crowded it's actually pretty pretty empty band so probably the propagation and timing all right let's go now on 20 meters so we have to switch the pickoff clip onto the coil and i hope that the counterpoise length is gonna be okay the same as it was for 30 meters let's get back for the swr business also very good good swr on the cw portion of the band less than 1.5 maybe 1.1 1.2 filter 250 hertz now it's 1.2 kilohertz the, the most wide filter on CW and, he's, and this is standard kind of a 500 hertz filter very effective filters on 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 uh, icom ic705 band is more lively much more lively a few stations called me with a very strong signals we had a very good chat with the radio x-ray 6 sugar bravo let's check now what's uh, what's on the reverse beacon network now the reverse beacon network shows basically all the all the 20 meter uh, 20 meter um, uh, recordings of my signal so we see that uh, i was uh, received pretty well all across Europe, starting in Germany, in Russia, in Finland, in Czech Republic, in Italy, in Sweden, Estonia, uh, Finland, Belgium, Slovenia, uh, whatever. So, and all the reports uh, were pretty well, like uh, being 30 dB uh, or 23 dB or 28 dB. Uh, some are weaker, 3 dB, but still all are pretty good, re pre pretty good reports. And uh, what is interesting that uh, the reports on 20 meters are really much better, uh, much better with the much higher figures than the reports on 40 meters, uh, for instance. Um, uh, th this means that the ballistic antenna is really due to its size and the due to it to the lo coil loading of course is uh, best performing on higher higher frequency bands like 20 meters and not that not that good on 40 and 30 meters but still being a compromise antenna it's still doing pretty well allowing uh, to be heard all all around europe with modest 10 watts only uh, power output from the ic705 All right, guys, summing up and answering the question I put in the beginning of the video. Can these two guys, ICOM IC705 and Buddy Stick by Buddy Paul Company, be buddies in real life and play together on the air? Well, yes, surely they can, and they are, and they were during this nice and short experiment I've done uh, in my backyard and in the fields. So I can say now that uh, it's really uh, Buddy Stick and ICOM IC705 can work together because, first of all, uh, the Buddy Stick really tunes nicely with the pickoff clips onto the coil. Even if these pickoff clips are not terribly convenient to handle with, 
but uh, once you find a right position or for, for a clip on the coil, uh, this position stays valid for your many other positions um, if you're changing places. Uh, the only thing you need to retune is a counterpoise length when you change a band. So that's good, the, the body stick is uh, more or less uh, easily tunable and the ICOM IC705 uh, has got uh, no antenna tuner on it but it's got a pretty uh, nice and well working uh, SWR meter system so you can uh, uh, scan the whole band of, of your choice and see how your body stick is doing in the whole range of the frequencies and that's very convenient and that uh, makes uh, the whole work of, of, for the radio safe you make sure that your antenna is really uh, is not uh, skyrocketing above uh, above the safe limits of the SWR. So mm, these two guys can work together, uh, except probably in the situations uh, where you need uh, a speed and and the very uh, quick uh, rate of work. I mean, if you are in the contest in the outdoors, or if you are activating, as I often do, uh, the park. Uh, so then you need to be very quick, easily deployable, uh, spending as less time as possible for switching bands, tuning and retuning everything, that's out of question. So that's why uh, the best way to have an antenna which works on all bands or to use an antenna tuner with your multiband antenna or to have antenna, a resonant antenna pre-tuned and easily working on all bands like Antfet half-wave uh, transformer fed antenna. Uh, so that's, um, that's if you uh, choose uh, this type of activity. But if you just, you know, have, uh, wanna have fun, uh, sit at the picnic table and clamp it, uh, clamp uh, the body stick onto it, uh, connect uh, your ICOM IC705, and then you have plenty of time to make tuning, retuning, uh, and making ex experimentations with your antenna and your SWR, uh, then it's fine. And this is also tons of fun. Please do that. And that's, that's really, <laughs> I like it. I do that when I can. So, but uh, if you are in the more or less, so to say, dynamic business of radio ham radio activity outdoors then uh, the body stick probably uh, not the first choice for the antenna so saying that doesn't mean that this is bad antenna this is compromised but as a compromised antenna it's a good antenna especially used uh, with a uh, with a longer telescopic whip we haven't tried today to work uh, with the body stick on the higher bands uh, upper bands uh, higher than 20 meters, more than 14 megahertz, uh, because that was not the purpose. The, the, the purpose was just to try how about the work with the coil. On the upper bands, you don't need a coil on body stick. It's possible to work without antenna tuner, but then you need to spend even more time tuning and retuning both the telescoping whip and the radial's length. But it's, it's possible. Or if you have an antenna tuner, as I do, my uh, favorite uh, antenna tuner uh, Elecraft T1 uh, it tunes everything to anything and it would save a lot of time uh, tuning the antenna like body stick uh, with not much retuning of the whip and the counterpoise but just use, using the tuner and then you may tune from 18 megahertz up to 28 megahertz or maybe even to 50 megahertz with a tuner uh, and yet another thing if you got two body sticks you can make one body pole out of two body sticks i'm gonna make a body pole in one of my uh, coming videos so if you don't want to miss this please consider subscribing otherwise thanks for watching it was a pleasure meeting you and sharing my experiment with you guys uh, 73 good luck this is linas limoyanki to hotel